By the way, a little bit of information, as you know, um, you, you heard from us first, and you guys knew first about uh, we had troops ready to deploy in Croatia to go that night of September the 11th, 2012, to rescue Americans. We have learned that one of the reasons the administration is so deeply concerned, we, we have been told that there were 400 surface-to-air missiles stolen and that they are all on or about in the hands of many people and that the biggest fear in the U.S. intelligence community is that one of these missiles will be used to shoot down an airliner. Hold on a minute, because this is big stuff. This is really important stuff. 400 we, missiles. We, the, what was going on there was they were, from they, Libya. they were taking the Libyan surface-to-air missiles, the CIA, and they were sending them where? That's a good question. I don't Maybe have an Syria to rebels? That. Maybe do the not, Syrian rebels? Do not, do not have an answer to that, but we have learned... We have, as you know, as a result of Victoria and I representing the whistleblowers, a lot of people have come forward to share information with us. Some of it is verifiable. Some of it is not. This information comes from uh, former uh, intelligence officials who stay in constant contact with people in the uh, special ops and intelligence community, and it is pretty clear that the biggest concern right now oh are God. 400 missiles which have been diverted in Libya and have gotten into the hands of some very ugly people. And they are worried, specifically according to these sources, about an attempt to shoot down an airliner. Yes, uh, air surface-to-air missiles. That's what they do. They shoot down planes. That's exactly and right. And now they're in the hands of al-Qaeda operatives. Uh, that is what these people are telling us. And, oh, the, and these are surface-to-air missiles that uh, we believe, and you believe, based on your sources, uh, Joe DeGeneva, that were at the annex that night on September 11, 2012. Uh, that, I do not know whether they were at the annex, but it is clear that the annex was somehow involved in the process of the distribution of those missiles. 